The U.S. made missile defense system THAAD, now pending full deployment here in South Korea, has apparently been on the agenda of President Trump and his top aides. Since South Korea's presidential office ordered that deployment of THAAD be put on hold, Washington has been speaking out on the importance of the system. Connie Kim reports. The deployment of the U.S. missile defense system THAAD has been up for talks between U.S. President Donald Trump and his top aides at an Oval Office meeting on Thursday, indicating Trump's priority on the issue. U.S. State Department spokesperson Heather Nort told reporters that Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Defense Secretary James Mattis, and President Trump discussed, quote, the ongoing situation on the Korean Peninsula and also in the Gulf. Trump has reportedly reaffirmed Thad is incredibly important to Washington, possibly acknowledging the temporary halt in installing Thad batteries in South Korea. According to Nord, a Seoul's decision to suspend the Thad deployment pending a complete environmental impact assessment of the system was part of the talks. Although the spokesperson said she does not want to characterize Washington as disappointed with the halt, Nort made clear the decision to deploy THAAD was made at the highest governmental level and that Washington is committed to protecting the South Korean ally. THAAD has again become a diplomatic question following Seoul's presidential office of Chawade ordering this week to stop the deployment until an environmental study is complete, raising concerns in Washington of a possible reversal of the deployment decision by the current South Korean administration. Reflecting such worries, Representative Ed Royce, chairman of the U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee, issued a statement saying the THAAD system is critical in protecting South Koreans from Kim Jong-un's growing arsenal and called for a quick and thorough environmental review that dispel any concerns regarding THAAD in South Korea. While THAAD is most likely to be brought up during the first summit between Seoul and Washington, under Secretary of State for Political Affairs Thomas Shannon will be in Seoul for a three-day trip next week to fine-tune agendas of the talks and exchange ideas on North Korea policies. Connie Kim, Item News.